Marcus Conti reporting on the Pop the Bubble, the Bubble Goes. The Bubble Goes Pop. Remember when Donald Trump said this? Remember this? Listen to this shit. Now look, we have the worst revival of an economy since the Great Depression. And believe me, we're in a bubble right now. And the only thing that looks good is the stock market. But if you raise interest rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. We are in a big, fat, ugly bubble. And we've been- A big, fat, ugly, big, fat, ugly bubble. Big, fat, ugly bubble. Big, fat, ugly bubble. <laughs> There's a song in there, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Man, I'm tearing it up today. Tearing it up, man. I almost got a fucking, you know, you think that squeal sounds loud to you? Forget about it. Fucking just blew my eardrum out. Uh, so anyway, so let's talk about the big, fat, ugly bubble. The big, fat, <coughs> ugly bubble. Big, fat, ugly bubble. Big, fat, ugly bubble. bubble, bubble, bubble. So here's the Dow. Is the Dow Jones right now as we speak down 319 points? Holy shit! Uh, so here's the here's, here's what's going on. You see how it's doing a cliffhanger right here? See the edge? No, we're pretty far up. I'm just going to read off some statistics. This is the max, the max through the years. But look, you just got to look at the last few, right? When it when we that's this is reality. This is our recent history in 2009. I keep bringing the same chart up, but you see this cliffhanger over here? How it you know when it when when markets go right up, uh, this is this is when um, Trump Trump entered here, right? It had been the market had been going sideways for a while, and then Trump enters, and the market goes up. And now for the last year, it's been going sideways, right? So now the big threat, right? You got the trade war. Oh, it's the trade war with China. But that again, I think that was. If you think that the the environment is being geoengineered, you have no idea how the markets are engineered. Uh, so it does seem that we just bounced off a second top, uh, and there's a lot of reasons why the China is, China trade trade war is front and center, right? It's a good reason to drop the markets, right? Uh, so let's just look at some other things, all right, right? So that's reality right now. We're down three three nineteen. My my prediction is and always has been that we're going to come back down and test this top, and then probably go lower. As we come into the markets, because there's nothing holding it up. And if you think it's, if you think that's my opinion of that, there's nothing holding it up. Well, let's look. So, let's look at some of. Uh, I'll try to get rid of these ads. Get ads in. The, so, so new home sales uh, collapse in April as median prices soar. Right. So, prices are going up. New home sales are going down. Right. Oh, we like it. No, no, no. House house prices are going up. They house prices always go up, right? That's what they're supposed to do. Go up, right? We buy and they go up. Uh, but it's it's the banks that are manipulating the price of these things that go up and then people can't afford it. So so that's just a that's just a Wall Street indicator right there. That not the big one, right? Trade war, but but home sales collapse in April. Let's just speed read the news, right? Speed read the the, the news. U.S. PMIs also be be aware that that the election of the European Union that the United States is trying to shunt. You don't hear anything in mainstream media about the EU voting. In fact, in fact, I did a video yesterday and it got like it was shadow banned. I think like a hundred people saw it, right? Or something less, like, something crazy like that. And nothing but problems when I when when we speak about the European Union election on Sunday. So, so that's a big one too. But uh, here's another one: flash index is going down, right? Um, I'm not really sure what this means. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's it's pertaining to the U, uh, European slump. All right, so crude oil, crude oil crashes to a two month low. Oh no, breaks sixty dollars a barrel. All right, so this is uh, reserve. This is not price. This is reserves. How many barrels on reserve? So that's going up again, tied to the tensions in China. China. Commodities, bonds, yields, and stocks tumble. Trader exclaims, "I'm discouraged." Uh, it it has been a sloppy day all around. Litany of discouraging news is there, 
But again, the big one is the debt bubble. The debt bubble. The debt bubble. And this is it. Sea of red, S&P futures, bond yields tumble. And again, Trump, Trump is, is fighting with China, a monster who's going to pull treasuries off the, off the table, right? And again, U.S. is, is leveraged, is heavily leveraged. Right? Meaning that when, when, the, when the, for example, the, tra- the bond markets, the junk bond market collapses, or the treasuries, tr- people like China or Russia or whoever else, or Saudi Arabia is holding our treasuries, decides to start dumping them, they can they can crash those markets. Right. So all red, all the indexes are red following the United States. What the hell am I trying to say over here? Right. What am I talking about? It's a debt bubble, right? The debt bubble popped, right? So Trump is is all along looking at the markets. Now the market is coming down. See, we're seeing the correction, right? We're seeing the correction as we speak. As we speak, everything is everything is in price, right? All the stories that we tell about about all the stories that the markets are told about, uh, or this, the markets tell uh, about goods and services and what kind of brand names or what this and that, right? Well, that's all story. But on Wall Street, the, the most important thing is price. Everything is calculated in price. And right now, price is hanging on a ledge as indicated by how much people are willing to spend on stock. Right? And I showed you the other uh, commodities, you know, the other markets that are also getting slammed. But the, the, a good one is is the Dow Jones Industrial Average, right? So... So we're going down, 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 down. What does it all mean? Does it mean anything to you? Are you holding stock? Am I holding stock? Hell fucking no. Right, but it, it is an indication that if those markets crash, you're going to see a lot of angst, a lot of anxiety amongst the power elite, right? And then the the a lot of times the default is find a scapegoat. China right now is a scapegoat, but you're also going to see war because war is very profitable, right? War, let's start a war. Let's, you know, let's, let's fucking Iran, man. Look, Iran's sitting there doing nothing. Venezuela's got all this oil. Let's start a war. Right? Why not, man? Just, we got nothing to lose. We just tell the CIA and the FBI to lie. The CIA lies for a living. They lie to us anyway. So they, they'll just go out in front of the cameras, lie, say there's a humanitarian crisis in Venezuela, say there's, there's a, that Iran, Iran bombed a, uh, a ship in Saudi Arabia, some fucking, just pick up anything. It doesn't matter. Because American people are stupid and they're going to, they don't have a choice. They listen to what we say, and if they don't believe it, we just bombard them with the shit anyway, right? We just gaslight the shit out of the American people. And no one, they, they're not, what are they going to do? They just got to go back to the job, go back to slave, wage slaves, and shut the hell up, right? And do what we tell you to do, right? Because we're in charge, right? We are in charge. We are the Koch brothers. We are, we are George Soros. We are the power elite, right? We pay the politicians. We pay those motherfuckers, right, to, tell, to do our dirty work. And right now, right, our markets are getting crushed, so we got to create a little bit of a, a, little, smoke, a little smoke screen here. we got to create a shiny object so everybody looks over here while we figure out the next power steal, the next... We're still going to give in as well. We're not giving up on that one, man. We put too much inf- we put too much energy into stealing Venezuela's oil. So, anyway, enjoy the market crash. Uh, it is it is a cliffhanger, and um, I don't know. The only thing that could save us now is a war. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Because the military industrial complex, right? But again, if things keep going on this tra- trajectory, right, as we move into the next election, as the Democrats keep beating the drum of of universal single-payer health care, which they should be doing, right? But again, everybody's beating the drum of war. So in war, markets go up. So Marcus Conti reporting on just some brief, uh, brief financial, financial data as, uh, as uh, we sit here and watch this. Peace out.